Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today we're going to talk about the difference between place bets and the pass and come bet and why I typically will make place bets. Let's get into it. All right, for beginners, let's quickly go over how these bets work. A bet on the pass line is the basic foundation of the game. When the puck is off, you make a bet on the pass line. If it rolls a 7 or 11, you win. And if it rolls a 2, 3, or 12, you lose the bet. Now, if any other number is rolled, it becomes the point. Let's say the 5 is rolled. Now, your pass line bet is a bet on the number 5. At this point, the 5 wins, the 7 loses, no other number matters. It really doesn't affect this bet. You're just betting on the 5 to win. Now, the come bet works exactly the same, but it's in the middle of the game when the puck is already on. I kind of think of it as a game within a game. So if you make a bet in the come, first roll acts the same. 7-11, you win. 2, 3, or 12, you lose. Any other number rolls, it becomes the, the new point for the come bet. So let's say a 9 rolls. This would travel inside the 9. A roll of 9 wins, a roll of 7 loses. No other number at this point matters. Now the great thing about these bets is you can make what's called an odds bet. And that's a bet behind the line here. And what that is is you're betting additional money on the 5 in this instance. And I'll discuss that in a moment why that's such a great bet. And it's the same with the 9. You would just give your odds money to the dealer and he would place it up on your number. So basically the first roll of the dice determines which number you're going to be betting on. Now with place bets, you actually pick the number. So you'd put your money down and ask the dealer whatever number you'd like to bet on. Let's say, I'd like to place the nine, please. The dealer would move your money to the nine. Now you have a bet on the nine. Or you can bet on the 10. You could bet on any of these numbers up here. These aren't proper amounts here, but you know you could bet on any of the numbers you'd like or all of them. It's real simple. If the number rolls, you get paid. If the seven rolls, you lose your bets. If I went too fast for you, those are the basics of the game. I have a free beginner course on my website, colorup.club. Definitely head there first. But we're going to talk about a little more advanced reasons of place bets versus come bets. Let's go ahead and get into a little bit of math. Don't tune out on me. I'm going to do a live roll comparing them here at the end of the video. But let's talk about the math for just a second. So the pass and the come bet, Remember I said the, basically the same thing. Let's take a $100 bet just, just for ease of example. These have a house edge or casino advantage of 1.4%. What that means is they keep a small percentage, the casino does, of every winning bet you make. So if you lose, they take all of your money. If you win, they don't pay you fairly according to the risk you take. They take a small little percentage out. That's how they stay in business. That's how they pay their employees, keep the lights on, and actually have a profit. And business is good for the casino. So with these bets, the house edge is 1.4%. What that means is on a $100 bet, they keep $1.40 basically per bet. Now with the six and eight, they keep a little more. They keep 1.5%. So for a $100 bet, they'll keep $1.50. The five and nine, it gets a little bit worse. They're gonna keep 4% or basically $4 on every $100 you bet. The four and 10, e, they keep 6.7% or $6.70 out of every $100 bet. Now there's different ways you can bet the four and 10. And that's, I cover in a different video, but they're called buy bets. They do take a smaller percentage out. So you wanna make buy bets on the four and 10 whenever you can. But just for this video, we're going to keep it to place bet. So 1.4, 1.5, 4%, a big jump, and then 6.7. Yikes. Now, the nice thing about the pass and come I mentioned earlier is you could take odds on that. Now, the odds bet, they actually pay fair. This is the only bet in the whole casino that they will pay completely fair according to your risk. 0% house edge. What that means is after, you know, a million bets, the casino wins, breaks even, and the player breaks even. They don't have an advantage on it. You don't have an advantage on it. It's basically a coin flip. So if you're a math guy, it's a no-brainer, right? The pass line at 1.4, the odds bet is zero house edge. The come is the same, and then we, have, we go from 1.5 and up on the place bets. If you're cons solely considering the math, you would only stick to these bets. So does house edge really matter? Well, I can tell you for the casino, it absolutely does because 1.4%, you know, if you consider that as a, a tip or something, that's a very small percentage. But over thousands of players, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it all adds up. So it's a big deal for them. For the player, is it such a big deal? 
Well, I don't know, that's kind of up to you. Let's say you make a pass line bet at 1.4% and a bet here on the 10, a place bet, 6.7%. Uh, Far superior bet, right? Well, what happens in the, if I only consider five rolls? I roll four times, then the 10 rolls and it is a winner, and then I roll a seven and this loses. Which is the better bet? Obviously the winning bet, right? Well, that's the kind of the key with this. We don't play according to the math over years and years of time. And the math is actually based off of infinity and it's actually theoretical, but we do know a winning bet is a better bet. So we play two, three hours, maybe a weekend. Uh, maybe we only play twice a year when we visit Vegas or whatever, right? The house edge, it becomes a little bit less of a factor. We're more concerned about what happens in the next five to 20 rolls, not necessarily the 1% or 2% that affects the long term. Now I'm sure I'll get plenty of math guys who will say, listen, if you're gonna bet, bet smart, bet the lowest house edge bets only, and you'll be a winner. Well, I mean, long term, none of us are gonna be winners. Long term, if you wanna lose less money, yes, this is the way to go. In the short term, on the weekend, I don't know, let me talk about a couple more things for you to think about. Now, the number one reason that people play the line or the come bet is so they can take their free odds bet at 0% house edge. And I agree with them, the best bet in the whole casino right there. Now, the problem is that with your line bet and your odds bet, you actually get paid less than place bets. Is that true? Well, let me walk you through it. Let's make a $5 bet on the pass line and the dice roll and the point becomes a nine. Now this player is going to make $10 in odds bet. Great bet, right? We all agree, 0% ounce edge, amazing bet, best bet in the casino. Now our other player is gonna make a place bet of $15. They have the same amount at risk. Now if the nine does roll, this player is gonna get paid three for every two, three to two, and they're gonna win their even money for their line bet. The place bet on the nine, five and nine get paid seven to five. So for three units, or $15, we're gonna get paid $21. So our line better got paid 20, our place better got paid 21. Yes, the house edge is lower, but you actually get paid more on a place bet. Did I blow your mind on that? Well, let's take a look at another number. Let's say we, the point is a 10, and we're gonna make the same bet. We're gonna bet basically $15 on it, and we have a place better betting $15. If it rolls, we get paid an awesome two to one, so we're gonna win $20 back there, but here's the key, only one to one for the line. So we've just won $25 for the 10 rolling with our line bet, $15 here. We don't even have to make it a buy bet, a place bet. It gets paid $27. It gets paid nine to five. Now you can do this on all the numbers up until about five times odds. At five times odds and higher, some of the numbers will break even, but you'll actually, at that point, start to get paid more with a line bet and odds versus a place bet. So if you're on a $10 or 10 times table and you're making odds bets of 10 times, or you know sometimes you might see a 20 times or even a 100 times table, it would make sense to make the odds bet. You're gonna get paid more. Anything above a five times table. Now, you may consider this conspiracy theory or I'll put my tinfoil hat on or whatever, but let me ask you, why do the majority, not all, the majority of casinos have odds set at three times, four times, five times odds? They know all players are line bet and they've taught us the odds bet is the best bet in the casino, so the majority of players will play down here, but yet the place bets are all going to pay more on a three, four, five times table. Wait a second, so if these bets pay more, what is my advantage of making the odds bet the house edge? I mean, it doesn't seem to make a difference if I lose. Either way, I'm gonna lose both bets. The house edge doesn't really affect me too much. That just is how much I get paid back and I'm actually getting paid back more on the place bets. So let me back up and show you where the advantage is for the line bet and come bet is. It's on the very first roll, it's on the come out roll. Why? Because you actually have a two to one advantage to win this bet. Remember, the seven works for you. So there's six ways to roll the seven. There's two ways to roll the 11. So there's eight ways to win. 
and there are only four ways to lose this bet with the two, three, and 12. So eight ways to win, four ways to lose. You have a two to one advantage to win this bet on the first roll, the come out roll. That's not to be overlooked. That is a huge advantage for the player. The place better when he can make his bet He's always the underdog. He's always more likely to lose versus the seven, right? Because there's more ways to roll a seven. So he's always a disadvantage. So the big benefit is the first roll. Well, what about the odds? The trick is you can only add the odds bet once the puck is on. And guess what? Now the game is switched and you're at the disadvantage. You're always more likely to lose. Yes, they pay you fair for taking the risk, but you can only make this bet when the casino has the advantage back and they're more likely to win your money. So again, great bet, but you can only make it once the point is established and the casino is more likely to win your money. So again, the big benefit is just on that very first roll where you're a huge favorite to win that bet. Now let's talk about the function of these bets for a second. Let's say we have a place bet on the nine and we have our line bet with odds behind. The pass line and the come bet are contract bets. What that means is you can never reduce it or remove that bet. Once you make that bet, it's locked in until you either win or lose. Now the odds you can remove or you can add, you know, unless you can add up to the table maximum or what the table allows. So the odds bet is very flexible. The pass and the come bet, they're not flexible at all. They're contract bets. The place bets are very flexible. You can increase them. You could decrease them. You could remove them and put them back in your rack, whatever you like with the place bets. Now the come bet is a little interesting because it provides a little hedge, at least for one roll on certain things. So let's say I have a bet here on the five with the pass line. Well, if I roll a seven, I will lose these bets. But remember, this is a new come out roll for this bet. So I'd win some money back. So a little rebate there. The weird thing is you're kind of betting against yourself. So let's go back to that line bet. Let's say another number rolls and this travels to the nine and we'll add $10 in odds and we'll make an, another come bet. Our big advantage, the seven, do we want it to roll? No, we don't want it to roll. We've got $30 here at risk and we'd only win five. So we actually don't want the seven to roll. So that perceived advantage that we have, or it's not perceived, it's a real two to one advantage. We want to actually avoid that and hopefully we get up on another number and then we could again add our odds. So the interesting thing about the come bet is when it has its most advantage, we actually don't want it to work for us because it will hurt our other bets. All right, so to recap, the advantages of the pass line and come is basically that huge two to one advantage for the player for the first roll. That's really pretty cool. Second advantage is you can add an odds bet that pays at a 0% house edge. So if you're worried about the math, this bet is the greatest bet you can make in the casino. The downside is this bet will actually pay less than an equivalent place bet until you're above a three, four, five times table. And the sticky part is most casinos are three, four, five times odds. Let's talk about one more thing before we get to the live roll. Let's consider we want to cover all the numbers with pass line and come versus place bet. So the point was rolled. It's a five. We have a bet on the five. We wanna get additional numbers. Let's say it's a $5 table. We're just gonna bet $5. We've decided we're gonna bet $15 per shooter. So the place player, let's say he wants all the numbers. He's, he can go ahead and put them all up. So he's got all of his numbers covered. He's got a lot more at risk here. $96, our come player is going to take a little bit slower of an approach to it. So let's say the number nine rolls is gonna to travel to the nine. He's going to add his additional $10 in odds. And now he has a bet on the five and nine. This player has, the place player has a lot more at risk. Well, he gets paid on the very first roll that rolls. He'll, he'll get paid 21. This player now has 15 at risk, $30 total, 96 total. If the seven rolls at this point, the place better is going to lose a lot more money than the come better. The come better is going to get into the game a little more slower. Let's say he makes another come bet and the four rolls. This is gonna to travel to the four. He's going to invest more money, another $10. Our place better, he's gonna actually get paid again. So he's gonna win out again. Our come better hasn't won any money, he's, but he's got the four, five, and nine as numbers working for him, but he's still got half the money at risk. So if you like to test the waters and get into the game a little bit slower, you know, you might wanna consider uh, betting through the come. All right, I think I've talked about most of the advantages and disadvantages. 
If I missed anything, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But we're gonna go ahead and roll it out a little bit. And you guys can, it doesn't mean one way or the other is better. I think I've established math long-term, the pass and come are better bets. Versatility, maybe the place bets are better. As far as payouts, the place bets are gonna pay more unless you're gonna bet five times or more in odds at that point. Again, the past and come has the advantage. But let's go ahead and play it out a little bit and just see how, how it works out and how it looks like. We're gonna start with a bankroll of $200 each, so maybe this example will be very short, but let's see what happens. So let's get a line on the pass, and here we go. Coming out, six, six easy. Six is gonna be our point. So our line player is gonna bet $10 in odds, additional bet on the six, and he's gonna make a $5 come bet. Our place player, let's say he wants to cover all of his numbers right away, he's gonna give $100 to the dealer, ask for 96 across. So he'll get $4 and change. And this is a bet of $15 each. And it's $18 on the six and eight. Now he doesn't have to cover all the numbers. He can go just as slow as the line better and you know add one number at a time. But he's gonna go all in. Six, so we hit our point right away. So this come bet is gonna travel inside the six. You're gonna get paid six to five back here, or $12 in odds, five in the, for the line bet. Oh, my chips are falling all over the place. Our place better is gonna get paid $21. So again, we'll rack that up a little bit further back. So again, $21 winner, $17 winner. The puck is gonna go off. Now you can add your odds if you'd like. Give the dealer your amount for your odds. Now when the puck is off, your odds are off. Remember, the, the come bet is a contract bet. So for seven rolls, oh no, we, yeah, we don't want odds for the come out roll. For seven rolls, we're gonna lose a contract bet and this money, the odds will just be returned to us. The place bets are always off by default. You can ask the dealer to have them working and they'll put a little on button for them. But by default, they're off when the puck is off. So place bets and odds are off, contract bets, always working. All right, here we go, coming out. Same shooter, seven. So this is what I mean by your come bets are kind of working against you. So we're going to win down here. The odds are gonna be returned to you, so that's no effect. You're going to win on your pass line, but your come bet up here, remember, seven's a loser, so he's gonna lose that bet. So we can go ahead and rack that. And we look for a new point coming out again. Nine, our point is new nine. Nine, the new nine. So let's go ahead and add double odds. And then we're gonna make a come bet. And our place better, he's ready to go. He's just working again. So let's see what happens here. Wow, okay, we're rolling points today. There's another nine. The come bet is gonna travel inside the nine. Our place bet will get paid three for every two, and then one to one in the front. And our place better here has 15, so he's gonna win 21. So you get paid 15 versus 21 here. And we wanna add, we're gonna invest so we could take our winnings, rack those up, and we'll take $10 and add that as odds, and we'll risk another $5. All right, we'll try to get another number for our come player. Dice bounced off the table, no roll. We'll grab another one, here we go. Let's avoid superstition, hopefully. There it is, a five. So our come bet's gonna travel to the five. We're gonna ask the dealer to give us odds, $10. And our $15 player, he's gonna win 21. 15 is gonna pay 21 on the seven. Yeah, 21. All right, we have a lot more risk for the place better. We've got all six numbers covered. The come better is gonna keep going. He wants to get more action, more numbers covered. And obviously you don't have to cover all the numbers. Place betters, you know, it's very common to only cover the inside four numbers. Maybe a come better, maybe they only make three and then they wait. 
Just for this example, I'm going to continuously bet here. All right, six, six easy. This is going to travel to the six. We're going to have the dealer place another $10 in odds on it. Our place better, $18, is going to win 21. So you can see he's collecting. He had more at risk, but he's collecting. Our come better is just, us just now establishing numbers. It's gonna make another come bet and let's see what happens. Six, six easy. Now this is where you wanna be if you're a come better. If you have numbers covered, this doesn't even move up to here because you've already got a bet here. So you're just gonna get paid and they're gonna call it off and on. So you're gonna get paid for your odds, which is $12 for your odds, and $5 for your flat bet. So they're gonna give you $17 off and on. You'll just rack that up. You just collected 17 and your bet's still nearer than come. And our place better, he's got an $18 bet. So he's gonna get paid out 21. All right, I gotta get a couple more chips here. And we'll keep the roll going. Both players are hoping for repeating numbers. There's that six again. So again, our come player, he's gonna be off and on for 17. Place player gets paid 21. Now, if we figured our luck was over, the place better, he can take all of his money down. The come player, he can remove the odds, but these bets will remain. But let's hope our luck has not ended so fast. And I shouldn't have even mentioned anything because there's that seven. So everything's gonna lose. Remember the place better, he had more in action. So he's gonna lose a little more. These are all gonna come down. And look, we win $5 for the last come. Again, we didn't really want the seven to roll once we had our numbers established. So really that benefit is, is very marginal at best when we have other bets in the game. All right, so we'll rack that up and let's maybe roll it out for one more try. Just not that it means anything. Again, this isn't conclusive. This is just kind of give you an idea of how they function and, and roll out. So $5 on the line, place better, he's gonna wait. Here we go, coming out. Six, six, my dice rolled there, but it was a six. So that's our point. Again, he's gonna do $10 in odds for a total $15 bet, $5 coming. And then this player, he's gonna give $100 to our dealer and say 96 across. So he's gonna get $4 and change. Let's set it up a little bit, real quick as I can. I'm not a dealer here. I'm sure you've already figured it out. My poor dealing skills. All right, $18 each on the six and eight. Both players are set up and here we go. Six, six hard, that's the point hit. This is gonna travel. We're gonna get paid 12 for our odds. $5 for our line bet. This player here, $18, is going to win 21. And the puck is gonna come off. Again, we can add odds or we can wait. Let's go ahead and add them. And we'll rack up the rest here. Rack this up, the <laughs> racks are kind of a mess. All right, place bets and the odds are off. And here we go, we're looking for a new point coming out. Point is nine. All right, place bets are now working. Actually, you can't have odds on the come out, so I should have pulled that away. But now that the puck is on, now you can add your odds. Remember, the casino doesn't let you have odds when you have the advantage for that first roll. If it was, you would always make that bet, but they don't let you until they have the advantage, then they'll make you make a fair bet. All right, he wants another number, so let's go ahead and get in the come, and here we go. And a quick seven. All right, so you can see here, our line better, he's gonna lose $30 and get paid five. So he actually only lost $25. Our place better, look at that, all this is coming down. 
Again, you don't have to risk. You don't have to cover all the numbers. But I just wanted to show you the example of how they work. All right, not that it matters too much, but I'll go ahead and tally these up real quick and just kind of see where we're at. We kind of had a decent roll and then we had, you know, what I'd consider a bad roll. All right, so our first player, 100, 200, 205, 208. So you profited eight bucks there. And I can tell you our place better is going to be down. 100, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we're a $45 loser for the place better. We're a $8 winner for the come better. So which is the better method? Maybe you don't place all the numbers and have all that money to risk. Maybe you start placing slower. You know, maybe uh, you take advantage of a higher table of more than five times odds where the come better gets paid more. So they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So I use both, but for me personally, I'm typically going to make more place bets than come bets. So I'm excited to see what you guys say down in the comments. And until next time, whether you're a line player or a place player, good luck on coloring up.